Maybe the future of the church and of our world is truly in the hands of what Martin Luther King Jr. called the creatively maladjusted. Maybe minorities, sexual and gender minorities, have something to teach the church about dying to self, about new life, about... That is not a sign of God. All right, shalom, shalom, Akim. First and foremost, let to give all praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rokar Kadash, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahweh Shai being the true name of the Lord and He called Jesus Christ. I to give double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who will tell me the truth according to the Bible. And shall I want to the brothers out there, out there, the folk on the earth, pushing this word in our righteousness and sincerity, shall I want. It's the brother Kazatba from the DC church here. Come back with another quick lesson. And this is responding to what you saw on that video um, before. You know, you had this, um, you, you had a sodomite basically saying that, you know, the Lord accepts that, that sodomite lifestyle. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean by, you know, Man on man, woman with woman, and stuff, you know, the whole, you know, alphabet community, okay? And, um, you know, then, <laughs> you know, everything's of the Lord, so, you know, the Lord had the light shut off on him, shut his whole thing, shut off his mic and all that, okay? But then he had the nerve to say that that wasn't a sign from the Lord. Well, we're going to see what the scripture said. This is Galatians 6 and 7. It says, be not deceived, so don't, don't lie to yourself, okay? Because what that man did was lie to himself. It says... The Most High is not mocked, okay? So the Heavenly Father, through His unbegotten Son, is not mocked, okay? All right? All right matter of fact, let's get that word mocked. What is, what is it to mock somebody? Okay, mock, to make fun of, to play trick, to delude, to make a fool of, all right? To treat with scorn, treat uh, derisively or contemptuously, okay? All right? Yeah, so when you when you when you mock somebody, you're making fun of them. Okay, you're 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 basically scorning them, making them look like a fool, an idiot. Okay, you know, so that's what a uh, someone when somebody mocks somebody. Okay, all right. So the Lord said what He said, the Most High is not mocked. So you can't make a fool out of the Lord. Okay, you can't make the Lord look like you know something that He's not. Okay, and the guy of the Bible does not approve. <clears throat> of the alphabet community um lifestyle okay whatsoever all right and he said no that's not a sign from the lord but okay hey we, the lord just gave you a sign of what you're saying was madness but you want to you know say that you know that's not the lord giving a sign while everybody else was clapping knowing that it was a sign from the lord okay it says for whatsoever man soweth meaning whatever you do on the same planet earth whatever you sow whatever you uh, um put your hand forth to whatever you plant okay all right, whatever, whatever actions you perform on this earth, it says, that shall he also reap. Meaning what? Whatever you do, you're going to have to reap a benefit. Okay? They tell you that in school and science that what? Every action has an opposite or or uh, equal reaction. Okay? All right? So what you do is going to have, it's going to come back to you. Okay? He says, for he that soweth to his flesh shall the flesh reap corruption. So you sow to the flesh, which the flesh promotes nothing but what uh oh at the end of the day uh pleasures which will lead you down to what you committing iniquity sin upon sin upon sin okay all right because the flesh is adverse to the spirit of the, you know so hey, if you're constantly fulfilling the flesh you're not fulfilling the spirit which means you're going you're going to eventually go off okay and do something that is wicked okay because this flesh is desperately wicked it says what it says but he that it soweth to the spirit shall reap, shall the spirit reap life everlasting. So what? If you reap, if you um sow to the flesh or your actions are dedicated to you, what they would call your five senses, okay? Instead of your spirit, your soul, the thing that inhabits your body, you know, you're going to reap corruption, meaning you're going to perish. But if you, you know, do things as, um, which is all according to the scriptures, Good for your spirit, following the Lord's commandments to the best of your ability. You're uh, sowing to the spirit, and you're gonna reap everlasting life. Okay, 
All right, because the Lord is spiritual and the Lord hates those that are carnal. Okay, minded. Let's get that to be carnally minded, right? Let's get that. This is Romans 8 and 6. It says, for to be carnally minded is death. Carnal meaning the flesh, okay? So to be carnally minded, okay, always trying to please the flesh, okay, is going to lead to your demise, okay? But it says, but to be spiritually minded, meaning when your mind is focused on what? Feeding your spirit according to the words of the Bible, okay? It says, what? It's life and peace, all right? So, you know, those that are carnal, you know, the, you know, the Lord hates it. Matter of fact, let's get that. Carnal. It says, let's see. Some more. Yep. First, uh, this is Romans 8, verse 7. It says, because the carnal mind, okay, all right, these people that want to please the flesh all the time, is enmity with against the Most High, meaning what? You're an enemy. You make yourself an enemy to the Lord, okay? When you're an enmity, you're at a... Uh, What's called a difference. You're at odds, okay, with the Most High God, okay. So you're you're against the Heavenly Father, the Only Begotten Son, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. It says, "For it is not subject to the law of the Lord, meaning what it constantly go off." It says, "Neither indeed indeed can be." Okay, so what if you're spiritually minded, you're gonna have life, but if you're carnal minded. You're going to be against the Lord, which you see majority of the people in the world are, especially our people, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and the Americans. It says, and they can't be subject under the rule of the law. Okay? You know, you can't subject yourself to the law, such commandments of the God of the Bible at all. You know, for the elect, they're trying, you know, and they're going to keep some things in, in, to the best of their ability, you know, but, you know, they're subjecting themselves under what the Lord has commanded them to do. But the flesh which two-thirds of our people are, are fully indulged in, all right, they can't do what the Lord commanded them to do, okay, because they're in that carnal mind frame instead of spiritual. It says, neither indeed can be, okay? So what the, the carnal mind, okay, will not receive the kingdom of heaven, but those that are spiritually minded, which is the elect of the nation of Israel, okay, the 144,000 men and the one-third men, women, and children who believe, okay, you know, those are the ones that's going to be spiritually minded and be delivered out of this place in America. So I just want to quickly get that, you know, hey, man, the carnal mind, man, you know, is going to mock the Lord, basically, and be destroyed. While the spiritual mind is going to reverence the Lord and be de delivered. So with that, hopefully this is edifying to the elect. You know, I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Kadash. To give double honors to my apostles and elders, a great Muslim who will tell me the truth according to the Bible. Shalom to the brothers out there that the full comes earth, pushing this word and all righteousness and sincerity. Until next time, to let say shalom.